Hey everyone, let's take a look at the differences between using Axios and importing it directly and using the Axios module to fetch your data in Nux.js. So I have an application already set up with a page that when I click on the Axios button, it's going to get all my mountains uh, from an API using Axios. So just to show how that works, let's have a look at the code. So we basically have our async data, we're importing Axios from Axios. So I've already got it, uh, yarn add Axios. So it's in my package JSON. And I'm using async data. I've got my API call here just to kind of make the code a little bit cleaner, no other reason. And then it's const mountains await Axios.get, my API, then response and return the response.data and return mountains. So the only, um, well, one of the negative things about this is if I was to create another page, I would then have to also add that import Axios from Axios into that page. So every time I work with Axios, I need to Im use that import statement on every page. So there's another couple of things here, like I'm using it then to get the response, or returning the response.data. And I can actually um, make things a little bit easier. So let's have a look at how to use the Axios module and what it's going to give us. So we can go to modules.nuxjs.org. And here's where all our modules are kept. And we can actually just search for Axios. We can click open the documentation for Axios and we can see like the extra features we are, we are going to get, right? Automatically set the base URL for client and server side, uh, exposes set token function, automatically enables with credentials, proxy request headers and server side rendering, fetch style requests, integrated with Nux progress bar, um, et cetera, et cetera. So let's have a look at the setup. So to set it up, I need to basically do yarn add nuxjs axios. So let's do that in our application. So we're just gonna paste that in here. And then while that's installing, just close that off. And then we're going to add it to the module section in the nux config. So I'm not gonna copy all of that because I just want this part and I wanna go into my nux config, into my modules, and I wanna paste it in exactly here. Perfect. So that's going to give me um, my module installed. And as it says here, that's it, you can now use dollar axis in your Nook stuff. So let's have a look at how to use it. So basically, we're using async data. So that's cool. And what we have to do is pass it in here. So this is like, um, basically, the module is now available to us throughout our application um, through the context. So we need to be able to then pass it in here so we can use it down here. So basically then I can use $axios.get. So instead of axios.get, I'm using $axios.get. And pretty much then I can completely remove this dot then. Because I've got this uh, dollar, I've got that extra helper that's gonna do all that work for me. And I can completely remove this. Don't forget to also remove it from your package, Jason so that it's not installed. And now my uh, call should work just like it did before. So let's check it out. Um, we click on Axios and we're still getting our mountains. So that's basically the difference uh, between using the module. Um, it's, in my opinion, a little bit cleaner. It's a little bit easier to use and you don't have to import it into every page. Uh, don't forget, if you want to read more about it, just go to modules.nuxjs.org, search for Axios and then open the documentation and you can read more about it. Thank you very much. Bye.